Paul Alert. What's up, buddy? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Good to see you, right? Super Bowl week is exciting. I mean, the energy, I know I was here not playing, but how does you feel the energy for the whole week? Is it, like, is it cool to be in Miami? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I'm from West Palm Beach, so, you know, it's like I'm from here. So just seeing, like, all the people and, like, the experience is definitely cool. Is it hard for the players to focus on the game with so much temptation? There's all the parties going down in Miami. Is it, like... How do you stay focused through all this stuff? Because there is a lot of temptation. The clubs, everyone's here. There's insane yeah. parties. Every, every single celebrity's coming down here. Is there a key to staying focused for something like this? Or what do you do? It's, it's the Super Bowl, man. It's the last game. It's the biggest game. I mean, that's enough motivation for me to lock in for at least a week. But, I mean, everything around, yeah, there's plenty of temptation. I mean, people will probably go out and experience it. But, I mean, they should enjoy the Super yeah. Bowl week, right? Is it cool for you to come down here and like hang out with players who you don't really hang out with and meet celebrities you don't, don't really get to see because it is a long season? Yeah. Is that a fun thing for you for the season? It was. It is fun. I mean, I got to meet a couple of celebs back out by, by the beach, and uh, it was cool. It was a great experience. I mean, just having those memories and those vibes, it's awesome. For yeah, me. yeah. Uh, two last things. Music-wise, what do you listen to right now? Who, who's your favorite right now? Who's on your uh... You know, I'm a future guy. I like Roddy Rich, uh, Rod Wave, you know, a couple guys that are up and coming. But uh, something like that. Yeah, I hear you. One last thing. Obviously, with Kobe passing, mm -hmm. everyone keeps asking about the question. Did you know it's terrible that Kobe passed and everything that it's tra it's tragic. But does, is there a little bit of a cloud over it because you know everyone's asking about the questions in a media perspective? Like, hey, tell us a Kobe story. Is it had? Is it hard for players, or, or is it kind of feel good to talk about the experiences and talk about what Kobe meant to them? You know how? To... I mean, there's there's pros and cons. I mean. You never want to see a legend like that and his beautiful daughter to pass away. Just that's tragic in itself. But to see the leg legacy that he built and everything that he stood for and what he was continuing to do after basketball, that's that's the motivation. And it's, it's like what what is really important in life? Yeah, you know, making others better, creating a legacy where kids can follow. I think that's what's really important, and that's what you really should take away from that. It's just like everything that he left. How do you want to be better? How can that make you better? I hear you, buddy. But listen, you're a good man, man. I wish Thanks, you all the best, man. Thank you so much. Thank I you. appreciate that. Appreciate you.